fundraising campaign? Uh, yes. Um, so we I've just started the recording. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And we'll see if some people join online or not, but we can kind of get going uh, right now. So this is our December general booster meeting, um, and we're going to do it as Q&A. So I think you were talking about um, what kind of fundraisers and stuff are people doing and All how right. can you do more. Um, yeah, so our, our fundraising platforms that you guys can use is Rally Up, and there's a a whole bunch of things you can do with that. Um, it certainly has just a generic GoFundMe style, right? Where you can set a goal and it'll mm -hmm. let people know. What we typically recommend is, you know, um, there's a kind of a subset to that where you can have uh, individual goals as well as group goals. Mm -hmm. So, you, you know, you tell everybody, hey, your goal is to raise, you know, $100 each, you set that goal, as soon as he goes and sends their link to grandma to support them, and then overall it supports everybody. That's an easy one. Everybody probably should be doing that, right? Just as a generic thing, we set it each year and kind of go for it. Um, yeah, we certainly can also just make a general, you know, fundraising goal and to say, hey, look, you know, for the school year, this is what we're looking to raise, and you can just kind of keep that up to date. Um, aside from that, I mean, there's a lot of other options that you have um, as far as selling sponsorships. Mm -hmm. I know you guys do a few little things here and there, right? For like a, um, your uh, handouts at the shows. Yeah, like yeah, that. we're so, yeah, we are soliciting corporate sponsorships for our programs and yeah. stuff like that, yeah. Um, and those can all be run through uh, Rally Up or Square. I mean, either way, um, uh, Rally Up's going to be better price for you, but only slightly because uh, we have nonprofit pricing with Square as well, so it's pretty good. Um, you know, so use use those platforms to help with your sponsorship stuff. And and what a lot of teams uh, or clubs do will be, you know come up with packages, right? And that way you can build these packages in Rally Up and say, you know, here's our platinum sponsor, here's our silver and all that. And then you send them there and let them kind of figure out where they need to be and get more potential sales that way as well. Um, so I mean, I think you guys from that standpoint are doing the things that you, you know, need and should. Uh, you might want to consider or your bigger packages, not only names and stuff, but maybe doing some banners and stuff that you could hang up in the lobby or things like that. Um, and we have access to very inexpensive banner printing, uh, you know, twenty dollars kind of thing. So and that might be a good option. Yeah, so so most of the groups don't do things like eScript or Amazon Smile because you know it's under the umbrella of the the boosters organization. Well, they they do because yeah. everything that they, happens to the boosters helps everybody else. Yeah. Right. So we we certainly want to tell people to go do that because you know if they're not doing it to us, who are they doing it to? And mm -hmm. you know at least it benefits you, you know one way or another. So we we certainly are hoping that all the teams are encouraging. Go do Amazon Smile. We're in there. Um, eScripts. We have data. It's it's not as big of a program as it used to be, but you know we get twenty dollars here and there from that as well. Um, but when people are doing that, it helps offset you know the fact that we have expenses and we're not billing you guys for. So several years ago, the boosters would take money from all of your clubs um, to pay for the expenses of the stuff. So we have. By implementing some of the Smile and Amazon, and, uh, um, I mean the eScripts and things like that, we've been able to offset that, so we don't actually bill you guys anything anymore. So um, that kind of helps. So it's just uh, under what Granite Bay High, Granite Bay Boosters Association. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Granite Bay High Boosters Association on Smile. Um, you know, certainly we encourage people to do matching funds or things like that from their 
employers, um, especially here, we have a lot of those um, and people just don't even think about it necessarily. And we're set up in all of the platforms for that. Um, so again, they just need to specify that. Um, and the same with the e-scripts, you know, however that works um, or the generic one. So, you know, a lot of clubs do, um, you know, there's some that will do candy sales. There's some that will sell Jamba cards and, and stuff. We've done that. They, they can be a lot to manage, but if you have the right people, they can make quite a bit of money. Uh, you know, we tend to try to stay away, you know, a lot of the clubs try to stay away from some of those where you really have to manage, you know, it becomes a lot more to manage than it is just to go out and ask for donations from people, mm -hmm. right? That That's the easy one. And people tend to be pretty generous with, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll give you a hundred bucks, mm -hmm. you know, um, and kind of support that. So I would get those up. Those are the easy ones. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah, I think we we're going to try to get rally up together for the first of the year um, yeah. for the new semester because um, we have our, our long term financial goal is talking to peeps about like what do we need. She said that the um, the the shells that we use for the acoustics for the um, theater, they're cracking. Yeah. And and so that's like our major, you know, like big fundraising thing that we need to do over the next couple of years yeah. um, to raise money for that. And how much are those a piece? I, I don't know. I need to I need to get peeps to get us a number so that we can figure out what we need to do. A Paris field one? No, they're like these a, a special like acoustic reflectors that go in the back behind the choir. Yeah, my guess is they're not overly expensive because they are pretty simple yeah. you know, things. Uh, but yeah, get the price. Or you got, you know, one of the things that we find um that can be really helpful. We encourage all the clubs to kind of do this is you go find a price. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because sometimes the teachers or the coaches or the different things, um, they go to whoever they know is the simplest for them or who they've dealt with in the past. And sometimes you just go on Amazon and you find out Amazon sells that thing and it's $200 a piece. Mm -hmm. And what she finds is $500. So I just encourage, as long as you know what it's called, mm -hmm. you know, and you know the sizing, because sometimes there's different sizes. You know, just go see what you can find and then let her say, oh, that's great. Uh, you'll probably get through that a lot faster than if you say, hey, you tell me and then we'll, we'll go <laughs> fundraise for it. Um, um, but that's that's a good, you know, that's a good thing to have known. Like, OK, we're going to need to replace all these. We're going to need new risers, whatever those yeah. things are so that you can plan for them and then those are the things that when you set up your rally up with Margo, um, discuss that, like specifically put in there, like, hey, well, this is going to cost us, you know, $1,000 yeah. and here's what we need it for, you know, because people tend to be much more generous when they know there's going to something specific. Yes, um, that's also why I've been bugging her about putting up an Amazon wish list because. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it's, that's a great yeah. thing to do. Uh, you know, any teachers really should be doing that and then yeah. making sure to say, hey, pick our boosters, you know, because I would imagine there's quite a few teachers that actually do that. And mm -hmm. people don't talk about the fact that we have the smile. Um, so that that's probably something that I should have the school send out uh, mm -hmm. to every parent to say, hey, by the way, if you didn't know, we we have a you know, smile. So if you just go to smile dot, you know, Amazon dot com when you purchase, you can donate to our boosters. Yeah, that is good because I bet a lot of people in the clubs don't know that. Yeah, it's something that I, you know, we we've talked about needing to tell people more about, mm -hmm. and it just always slips through the cracks. You know, um, I use it myself, and I buy a lot through my business and stuff. So you know, but we're we're only getting from Amazon like fifty dollars a month. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's pretty small, which means you know that it's not being used very much because, you, you know, with all of us parents, um, I'm sure we order, you know, tens of thousands a month from Amazon as a collective. So, yeah. Um, I think what I was going to ask is that, um, you know, so, um, yeah, so Jessica's got us all, you know, set up as um, the current contacts. And um, I know you mentioned at the, the October meeting that, you know, that we get sent, um, you know, the automated. Um, financial reports. Yeah. I was wondering about like what time of the month is it? The 10th? Okay. So you're going to get them in two days. Here. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, perfect timing. Okay. <laughs> and it's always, a, it's always a rolling back of 90 days. So you're going to yeah. get the last 90 days. Or 
if you need more than that um, because you haven't been getting them, then just ask uh, our accounting team and they can get it to you. And then, um, yeah, and then the unclaimed deposit report also goes out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. On the, on the 10th, all the reports come out on the 10th automatically. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think that was my only question with that now that we're all set up. And, and yeah, and you guys, yeah, Jessica is going to send the, the square login to us. Uh, yeah. I'll need your treasurer to reach out to me. Okay. Yeah, because um, what we'll do is um, make sure that she can. He can log in and you know see everything they need to see and maybe walk through any questions. Okay. Questions? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, do you have any idea about the summer camp on the campus? Because uh, this could be a good fundraise idea. Uh, we have done that like before 2018. So basically it's before pandemic because mm -hmm. my son uh, was involved in robotic club. So the host of, um, you know, few years before 2018, uh, during the summertime, you know, different sessions, you know, teaching kids to sell engineering stuff. Yeah. So. Have you have idea about that, especially after pandemic? Is there any I mean, guy? We certainly can. I mean, as long as there's people that have an idea of what to put on. Um, yeah, right now I'm my daughter is involved in media, so they can teach kids how to make short videos. You know, there's tons of YouTuber. You know, they are interested to make a small movie, short movie, how to use their device to. Uh, to shoot and how to edit them. So that's because we try to feel uh, fundraise by doing the, uh, you know, the restaurant stuff. I only <laughs> raised a couple hundred. So I said, do this because uh, you easily make a couple thousand. Mm -hmm. I mean, know, easy because yeah. uh, you Easily. Know, you can charge, you know, three to five hundred dollars a, a student, you know, and, and uh, you know, invite mm -hmm. other schools, like get with the other teachers because not all of them are going to do something. So then you get people coming from all over. Uh, yeah, but I remember just uh, this school district. I remember, like, mm -hmm. um, you know, five to a couple of years ago, it's just uh, those uh, middle school because uh, we don't want to, you know, take care of the little ones. Yeah, no, yeah. Management. And I don't so, even know if I have so six, seven, eight. Down there. Yeah, they only pick six, seven, eight great kids, and most of them just come, you know, from the Eureka School District. Yeah, I'm trying to remember because I think my kid, my oldest, did that in junior high and came okay. here and did a camp. For a week and mm -hmm. it was like a 3d printing oh okay yes yeah Back and then they made something yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so, so we have teams involved. and clubs yeah. that do stuff over the summer but and the, sell, I mean, sell the any guy and tickets and all that stuff okay. so you just have to put together what you want to do and then we can help you arrange for the right facilities and all that stuff yeah, yeah. but the, is there any i mean school has some specific because uh, after mm -hmm. pandemic things get changed right do you think yeah. there is some restriction or something mm -hmm. No. So we just come up the just what do you mean? What you want to do? Tell me how you're gonna do it, who's gonna run it, and you know, let's get you set up. Okay. You can build a web, you know, web portal for it, sell your tickets, all that stuff in advance, set it up so that it's easy to use. We'll uh, register for the facility that you need. Okay. Easy. Easy. Okay, yeah. sounds good. If school, you know, allowing us to do, because that's that's the first part I'm kind of worried about. Mm -hmm. And the second part is uh, uh, media. That's Mr. Wait, uh, White Camp. Mm -hmm. So he need to dedicate like at least a week um, mm -hmm. in the classroom because the, you know, I, I remember, but you know, it it has has to be have a teacher on the side. Mm -hmm. Then plus some parents come over to help. Plus a few three to four student volunteer. Yeah, we don't necessarily have to have we don't have to have a teacher, if, mm -hmm. but you know, I mean, it has to be led by us. You know, um, obviously, having the teacher would be ideal if he's willing to do it. Okay. Um, and you know, what I would do is tell him, you know, that we would pay him oh. know, to put it on. Oh dear. So he has some motivation to do. Exactly. <laughs> and, and that's what I think as a club, you guys just need to. Talk about the idea, come up with a plan of what you would like to do. Mm -hmm. Don't start putting things into concrete things. Meet and come up with a plan and then meet with uh, with us so okay. that we can help make sure that it's something that can be successful. 
So yeah, no reason All not right. to. Okay, yeah. that's good. good. And a lot of those things are not cheap. I mean, kids are paying, um, you know, quite a bit to be on summer teams and athletics and stuff. I mean, three to seven hundred dollars easy, right? Yes. Um, yes. Some of the kids are pay. You know, the choir did. Uh, how much was the boys staying up at Sly Park? Did they? Oh, uh, the barbershop camp. I'm not sure. It was a couple shop. hundred dollars. Yeah. Out of hair? No, the barbershop quartet, like a singing group. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so again, if it was like a one day thing, you know, they did like two days and they charged a couple hundred dollars. Well, technically somebody else did and we participated in it. But, you know, they had, you know, what, 60 kids mm -hmm. and adults there. Um, you know, so I think you could, it, those are the kind of things that can make a lot of money. Yeah. Mm -hmm thousands if you do it right okay. um, and we have a lot of things around the campus that they can learn and, and i'd love to see especially media we really mm -hmm. want to get media involved with um, the business classes and with all of the other boosters to start doing more advertising working with our pixel lock camera system throughout the campus you know all of that kind of stuff so that we can kind uh, of benefit, benefit the media yeah. team but also benefit all the other clubs all right, what kind of advertisement you're talking about? Uh, any. I mean, you know. Any from outside of school? Uh, yeah. Companies, okay. Yeah, so we, so every team and club sells sponsorships and things like that, right? So um, we're moving to do, as we talked about over the last uh, couple of meetings, we're going to be doing video scoreboards around the whole campus, right? So once we do that, we are really going to need the media platforms which we have but we're going to need to utilize those we'll have ads we'll do um, you know we could pay the media team and the graphics team right 3d team to come up with uh, images of all the athletes for their team for that year so that it can come up on the board right with the kids picture and their stats and stuff yeah. like that yeah. and that's not something us as clubs independently can do so we would need you know like media club media to come club. in and handle that and then mm -hmm. earn money from the different teams right each team could pay 150 dollars or 500 dollars or whatever we you know come up and figure out the costs are to get their media package for the year and that might include some stingers and things like that that the kids can put together and then it's teaching them sports marketing and some of the other stuff that we really want to get them involved in. We have we have classes for it. So that's why like your team, your club of all has a lot of ways to integrate with a lot of the other clubs. I've never think about that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you, you have challenge. the most capability of earning money off of all of our other clubs, really, because yeah. there's so many things that you could be doing for that. Okay. Um, in there. Good. And hey, Mark, I saw you joined online. Thank you for joining us. We're just mainly doing uh, Q&A tonight. So happy to see you. Uh, feel free to jump online. We've got a, a speaker phone here. So feel free to jump online and let me know what your questions are. Or if you want to, you can put them in the Q&A. But I saw your hand shot up. So. Oh, hi, everybody. Good to see you. Happy holidays. Yeah, I did have a question or two that I wanted to just make sure I was up to speed on for processes and stuff is uh, Margot Birch has been re-educating me the best of her ability. So I just wanted to check in with a couple of things when it's time. You, should I just type it in the message or what's the best way? No, no, go for it now. I think, uh, oh, okay. I think now's a good time to come in, so do it. Okay. Um, first of all, um, we're, we've collected a lot of donations and our representatives deposited that for us. And I just wanted to be clear on um, my best way to uh, check account balances and also uh, understand the timeline when submitting for reimbursements for myself or for other people who have um, uh, acquired expenses related to girls JV or varsity soccer. If I put in and upload the um, the receipts, then uh, what's the typical timelines or what are the deadlines? Because I know you guys had um, those in the past where it had to be in by a certain date and then checks were released by a certain date. So I just wanted to get reacquainted with the new processes and make sure I understood how it works. Yeah, so uh, there's a couple pieces on that. So stipends is the only thing that has time frames. Um, the district needs stipends in by like the 28th 
which means we have to have them no later than the 20th of the month and then they get paid out on the 10th. But that's only stipend. Everything else is processed as they come in. And I would say we're probably averaging about seven days beginning to end from the time that you submit the request to the time the check comes out. That's great. And um, what was the other thing I was wondering about? Oh, uh, checking um, balances so I can make sure that we don't overspend. What's the best way for me to keep uh, my finger on the pulse of how much money we have or don't have as we go through the season? So that's why you have a treasurer and they'll get a report on the 10th of every month. Oh, okay. Technically, your president and treasurer will get it, but they get a uh, rolling uh, 90 days every uh, every 10th. And the reality is that you should be able to ask them at any moment because the whole purpose of having a treasurer is that they're maintaining your own account and then just validating with our numbers. If they're running you off of waiting for a report to come to see if you have money, that's kind of like, <laughs> well, I had checks in my checkbook. I, I thought that meant I had money. So let's... Uh, Hopefully they're managing that and if, if we need to compensate with them, we're happy to. But uh, so at any point, if you're like, hey, I need to do stuff, let them know. Uh, you know, uh, I know you like to be a little more hands on than than maybe some of the others. But typically what we want you guys to do is focus on coaching. And if there's stuff you need, like if you're like, look, I'd really love to buy new balls and we need some nets and some other stuff. Just tell your club that. Okay. I, I wouldn't even worry about if you have the money or don't have the money. Let them figure out how to get it for you then. Okay. Um, now, if you come and start saying, hey, I want to spend $40,000 on this and that, <laughs> then they'll probably tell you, well, I don't have that, but we'll figure out how to raise it for you. Um, but that's what we really want the coaches to do is say, focus on whatever you need to manage the kids. Don't worry about, you know, do I have money? How much? What am I going to spend it on? Just tell us what you need, and we'll help figure out how to get it. You know. Okay. Thank you, Steve. Like yeah. With the scoreboards, right? You know, yeah. we knew you needed one, and we figured it out. And, you know. Um, got yeah, it it's, it's it's wonderful too. It works really well, by the way. And um, yeah, our folks on board helping us out are great. I'll check in with them, knowing um, when the statements come out, and that'll be perfect because I see them often. Good. Uh, and I heard rumors that you guys may be using the stadium this year. Yeah, we, um, so when we moved to winter, obviously there was a bit of a um, crunch on daylight. And uh, now that we have a late start time, we're starting school an hour later and finishing an hour later. If we were to use um, the grass field and kick off at three, as we had in prior seasons, the girls would have to get out of school essentially during a uh, third period instead of missing part of fourth period they would be missing almost two periods or a period and a half on the block schedule for every home game so um, just at least for this season we're going ahead and playing both games varsity and jv in the stadium where we used to play varsity on the grass and then jv would start immediately thereafter in the stadium because the lights would be necessary um, so we run out of daylight to use the grass. So for this year, uh, this transition year, we're going to go both teams in the stadium this year. And then um, we're going to revisit um, uh, trying to play on the grass for the varsity next year, um, boys and girls, um, because we were just worried about the kids uh, missing too much school. And we were worried about other schools. I think we have maybe, what, two or three districts in the SFL represented. We didn't know if those other schools would agree to take their kids out so early to play a game at three o'clock as well. So uh, I threw it out at the meeting at the winter coaches meeting and they kind of agreed that this year uh, maybe that would be better for us to just play in the stadium so the kids could stay in school longer. Because if you think about the visiting team, if they're going to be there for a game at three, they want to be there by two. They're leaving school by, you know, one fifteen. Uh, and that's pretty early for them for a, a regular league game. So we kind of tabled it for the season and we're trying to work it out for next year. But um, that'll be one of those long term projects we might want to look into is maybe some low level uh, floodlights like they have at the pool that have very little spillage. If if we could have something like that, you know, long term down the road, um, that would allow us to to continue to use the grass, even though it gets dark so early. Yeah, well, maybe not so long term. So let's uh, let's pick yeah. that back up and see 
what we need to do and and uh, figure out you know what what the requirements would be right because there's some simple requirements that i'm sure we could accomplish easy without a whole lot of interaction with the district but you know if it's going to be you know permitting and everything else we might have to figure it out but you know we've got those poles that go up the back of the um, you know stadium bleachers and it could be as simple as just aiming you know either aiming some we already have or adding on a few tapping into the power that's already there and aiming them towards your direction so i think we should yeah. try to plan that come next winter if you are going to play there and that's you know versus running the stadium because to be honest running the stadium uh, costs a lot of money and i'd rather yeah. Tim spend that money elsewhere with us than you know be saying well it costs 10 grand for the lights and i'm not going to give you any more money for other stuff so yeah, I, I agree, Stephen. And um, it's much warmer <laughs> to play at that time and get the games done sooner. I know the visiting teams definitely liked it. We prefer the grass field also. I think we have a lot less concussions and knee injuries over the years playing on the grass field. So there's definitely a lot of pros. So we're going to kind of um, do it a little different this year, and then we'll start trying to get some uh, questions answered so we can get back out there next year. Okay, good. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for answering my questions. Have a good holidays. Of course. Glad to have you. Happy holidays to you as well. Thank you. Go say hi to your please. say hi to your family, all your girls. <laughs> uh, all right. See ya. All right, what else you guys got? Um, that's about it. Um I guess long term, there isn't anything else in the works for the, the any other projects going on with the theater, right? Well, now. I mean, there yeah. had been. It. The problem is, um, uh, you know, I had met with Rama mm -hmm. last year. We talked about doing stuff because I I have access to audiovisual stuff, uh, and I was offering to do stuff at cost um if he needed anything or if we need to take a look at stuff and so we met a couple times but then nothing really came out of that um no further discussions and i don't know if he just got really busy so i think we should i think there's a lot of things that we don't do very well in that auditorium i'd love to see some you know on the audio side of things especially but i think again it has to kind of start becoming led by you guys then so yeah. maybe what you need to do is go get with drama they've got their own club Mm -hmm. Right. Go meet with them. Get you know peeps to meet with Z and say, hey, you know what? Let's let's do a roadmap for the next three years. Let's come up with some big ticket items that we'd like to fundraise for. How we can do that, uh, and then work with me and some of the other parents we have to go get pricing for some of that. You know, uh, lighting. You know that that was one thing. Is telling them the most, right? We need, you know, we've got so many cool new lighting things out these days that don't have to be super expensive where we could have full LED lighting, spotlights, and things like that mm -hmm. that are all managed from a computer, you know, which would give us a lot better interaction for, you know, our dramas and choir performances and dance club, mm -hmm. you know. So we have so many of you, because dance would be another yeah. one that you guys should talk to. So, you know, between the three of you, we should be looking at how do we take this run down theater and fix it. Yeah, um, we are actually, we are going to do a joint fundraiser drama um, probably in February and, you know, I'll be meeting with them very soon. So yeah, we'll definitely talk about it. I know Z's got a list of things that he wants to do to fix up the theater. And that's probably when, when you guys initially met. And I think they just, it kind of caught, you know, put to the side for now. And then they went and did that black box theater construction you know for midsummer night's dream so um and bought some and did get some equipment for that um because yeah. i know that was one of his goals but yeah the overall lighting scheme and audio I thought that would be good yeah i mean i i think there's so many things uh, i mean i would love to probably um, come to you know some of those meetings with you guys mm -hmm. you know so if we got one together between you know, you drama, maybe get see if dance can come in as mm -hmm. well. Let me know and I want to come to that, right? We'll get Jess and I will come and we can listen and we can offer ideas and stuff too, because you know, 
we want to improve you know that environment just as much as we're doing others mm -hmm. right you know long term i'd love to see ability to have led wall stuff in there that mm -hmm. can then be used for sets and things to become more dynamic yeah. right so yeah my, my my family grew up doing drama and choir you know mm -hmm. and so we we understand that environment you know and all the modern things that it can do so we want to try to help get there yeah i know one of their their dramas new ideas that they're they're trying to work on is that they do want to have some sort of projection where they can project um sponsors like up on the walls around the theater before um uh, before shows so uh yeah and those are all things that if you guys just if if we can better communicate mm -hmm. and let us help right because mm -hmm. right now it doesn't happen for drama at least right they just do run their stuff and we we've never going to interfere with you guys if you want to just do it the way you want to do it but mm -hmm. take advantage of why we're here and what we're here for because you know as you know we're spending and helping raise half a million dollars more to put in stuff around the campus well i'm happy to be doing the same kind of stuff with you guys we need new seats mm -hmm. you know so let me let's talk about that and prioritize your list and stuff and then i'll go to mm -hmm. the school is because Z and, and Peeps going to the school means nothing. But if I come to the school and say, hey, look, we really need to do this. How much are you going to pay? How much do we got to pay? Let's get this done. And we come in with some quotes. Then stuff happens, mm -hmm. right? Um, so we have a lot more capabilities to help move the needle than, than your teachers are going to have. That sounds good. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I'd love to. I, I mean, new seating. I'd love some modern stuff. We can get some inexpensive projections so we can do some stuff for advertising and mm -hmm. things like that um you know i'd love to see um there's a lot of capabilities for uh, projection mapping mm -hmm. which is really popular in theater right now right yeah uh, and i'd love to do all that kind of stuff and see some modern you know sound and modern lighting yes stuff done in there. <laughs> i i know z's got this long-term goal of like vr projections you know you know vr glasses and all that kind of stuff like the you know the future of theater and everything and we're like we just yeah we talked about some of that and yeah that, and like, i have a hollow yeah. lens and he had talked about that and i told him hey we could set up a time for me to come in and do you know show how that works because mm -hmm. you know but those are good educational pieces you're not going to use that in a production obviously but you know good for you know for the education side of things for sure um and we did discuss all that so again i think it's just a matter of you know, these teachers we have here at the campus are great, but there's only so much time, which is why we have you guys to yeah. help them say, hey, look, let me take this off. You give me your list and I'm going to go figure out whether or not any of this is practical and, you know, get some budgets for it. And we'll figure out what we can do and, and then we'll make it happen. Right, because the theater, the arts here is probably one of the easier things for us to go out to some some bigger people and don't ask for donations mm -hmm. right because not everybody wants to donate for athletics because you know not the same thing as saying oh we support the arts yeah. so choir and drama and dance have a, a leg up with it yeah and we are going to um kind of step up our recruitment um to when they have like the eighth grade nights and everything like yeah. the whole performing arts department we are going to get together and kind of show off why why we have the best performing arts department in the district and you know between band choir drama and everything and um yeah, yeah. so we just yeah we need money and <laughs> all that stuff mm -hmm. well yeah. this is where media comes in too like yeah. when you guys are going to have the choir show there's no reason that we shouldn't Say, hey, media club, let's come in. We would like to have a 30 second spot that we can put up on the website and mm -hmm. send out links to all the clubs. And, and that's where we can help with the communication that you don't have either. Let's have a. Uh, yeah, one we, camp is coming to our Friday show. Yeah, yeah. No, they have a, a Grand Bay TV thing. So it's twice per week, right. uh -huh. and uh, I did saw the try to advertise the yeah. fire show, and I think they display one not from not here. Yeah, 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 my my yeah, my daughter put it together with um with her boyfriend who was in media last year. Oh, okay. um, yeah, they did put together a 
uh-huh. and things were yeah yeah so i saw that <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's, it's, it's just put on the you know gb tv and uh, yeah i i'm supposed and to i think we need to be TV. doing more of that uh, mm-hmm. you know and more you know like mm-hmm. both of you may have your own sites which we've kind of talked about before but you really need to be using even if it's duplicative some of it the, the Grizzly Bright site too, because we drive all the traffic there and you guys have pages there. Media Team has one, Choir mm-hmm. has one, Drama has one. Um, but nobody used Grizzly Pride besides that, right? Everybody uses Everybody, okay, sorry. It's, it's the only place for parents and students <laughs> to get. Parents yeah, it's one, yeah. Of our, it's one of our goals this year too, is to work on our website because it's just been so, Collected. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, so if the school sends out anything related to a club or a sport, they send them to the Grizzly Pride. Yeah. So that's our main website for all clubs and athletics okay. that that the boosters. Have. No, when you try to fill up the form, that's mm-hmm. what I feel. I receive it because I need to register my daughter to the, you know, one of the team, mm-hmm. sports team. So I go there. But yeah. the other, besides that, I don't get any. You know, they ha- oh, they're using their own stuff, apps, like a band. You know, have you heard band? Uh, it's I, apps, so like a group, um, group thing. Hmm. So like yeah, my daughter. But see, and doing- that's the thing I need to hear about because the, team, the sports are not allowed to be using their own stuff. But the, it's a communication app. I know we have yeah. that with this website. There's a, there's mobile oh. apps for the website. Oh. Specifically designed to Pride. communicate with the, the athletes and parents. So it's called Grizzly Pride. The app. Uh, it would be called. So the app is called Sports Engine. If you download the app. Oh, Sports mm-hmm. Engine. Got it. Yeah. All right. Um, um, so yeah, uh, what what team is it that you? I don't know. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I I didn't realize I spilled it out. No, no, no. It's it's fine. They're not in trouble. I just need to help educate them because not all the coaches know, and not every booster club has gotten to the point that they. You know, you heard me even talking with Mark. Um, you know, not every club has gotten to the point that they say, "Hey, coach, you focus on coaching." A lot of coaches are still like, oh, "I run everything, and you guys, I'll just ask you when I need a check." And that's the worst place to put us, right? Because then we're not really very helpful at that point. Um, mm-hmm. So it's just uh, a lot of these teams need help figuring out what's what's available to them. Um, yeah, so they, you they can use used the sports engine before. I. Oh, that's a couple of few years ago, but then now they may improve a lot because I remember they don't they don't allow you to upload video stuff back to a couple of years ago. So now is that have yeah, that capability videos, like you share photos, videos, yeah, they have videos. calendar stuff. Yeah. Okay, all right, I check. Then I probably you know recommend it to you. Yeah, and we have the box office, so that's where people are used to going to buy tickets for events and things like that as well. So. The, the more that we can keep stuff there, then the easier it is for us to market it, right, okay. as well, right? Because I'm building a team of people that, that are going to be doing social media and all that kind of stuff. So, like, when you have your camp, we would want to put all that stuff on the Grizzly Pride, Grizzly Pride, have a whole page dedicated to the camp, a registration button that people can sign up for the camp, all that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. Under the payment, and then we can, um, you know, be putting that out on the 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 school social media and all of that kind of stuff. <laughs> Anything else? No, I think I think okay. I'm good. You're good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One question for you. Yeah. You said that the um the choir is gonna have the live streaming. Yeah. What kind of live streaming? Is that um, doing? it's through it's through the company Ludus. They oh. it's called Anywhere C. Okay. And uh, so Mr. Y actually Mr. Y Camp is running. The live stream for us. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do this. Yeah, yeah and, that, and then you media usually. Yeah. You can do live stream. Too. Yeah, and then media usually records for us, and mm-hmm. where where we're stuck right now is that we haven't done anything with the recordings, like package them, sell them, or anything. But yeah, media has been doing okay. that for us too. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's important. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know my daughter went to shoot soccer team yesterday. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I don't know if they're doing uh, live a lot. I'm going to check with her later. But that's good. Uh, you know, the parents aren't using band. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I figured it out. Yes, I gotta figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> <Get down there. laughs>